If you didn't fill up your car on your way home yesterday, you may be in uh, for a shocker this morning, kicking yourself. And the gas prices just hit a two-year high and will likely keep going up. Lindsay Shively's live near I-70 in Blue Ridge cut off with the details. Lindsay, did you fill up yesterday? <laughs> I didn't. Now I'm really upset with myself because they're just going to keep going up. What, what you put in here nationally is going to cost you about $3.13 a gallon. That's up $0.05 cents from a month ago, up $0.50 cents from the year before. One of the biggest reasons unrest in the Middle East. You know, they are kind of teetering with the uh, peaceful protests in Egypt. Everybody was watching those oil prices. But with the violent protests that we've seen in Iran, we've seen in Algeria, Yemen, and Libya, several of them oil-rich countries, that has really been a big reason for this continuous increase. Iran is the world's fourth largest oil producer, Algeria and Libya, also very important to those crude oil supplies. Now, the Energy Department says the supplies of crude and gas both rose again last week while heating oil and diesel supplies fell. So what does that mean for gas prices? We are just getting ready to get into that peak driving season. We've been talking to some pricing experts who say they expect the price of gas in the spring to range from 350 to 375 and then actually fall to $3 and $3 and 40 cents uh, for the rest of the driving season. So that's good news, but don't be waiting around to fill up your tank. No sign of it going down for at least a couple months. We're live. Lindsay Shively, NBC Action News Today.